This is another video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. In this video, I will teach you how to use a new Casio 570EX to do the integration for the hyperbolic function. So here, first we can see there's three basic rules of integration for hyperbolic sine, hyperbolic cos, and hyperbolic uh, second square. Alright, so this is the result you will get. And then this is the base, basic rule for the hyperbolic sine and hyperbolic cos. If you want to get a hyperbolic tangent, you can just use the hyperbolic sine divided by the hyperbolic cos. So over here, I will just choose one example to demo by using this calculator. Okay, so let's have a look at um, this question below here. So if you want to integrate the hyperbolic cos 3x from 1 to 3, okay, of course we can straight away use this calculator to get the answer which is quite simple you just need to go for um, this sign integration sign and then over here you need to choose the hyperbolic cost in it so you go to the option look for hyperbolic function which is number one and then look for hyperbolic cost which is the number two here all right then you just enter 3x close the bracket and then here your limit you just put from one to three and then the calculator will straight away tell you the answer, which is 1347.17. Let's say I take two decimal places. Right, this is how to get the answer straight away from the calculator. But I also want to teach you another two methods uh, to do this kind of question manually. Okay, first method is um we need to know if you integrate hyperbolic cost, right? We actually get the you see, in integrate hyperbolic cos, we get hyperbolic sine, doesn't it? So therefore, I know if I want to do manually, so for integrate 1 to 3, hyperbolic cos, 3x, dx, I will get hyperbolic sine, 3x. And then I need to differentiate the 3x, which I will get a 3 here. So I need to divide it by 3. And then I close the bracket write the 1 and 3 over here okay then what I need to do is I basically I need to sub the 3 into uh, both of here so basically I will get hyperbolic sign 3 multiply 3 so which is 9 divided by 3 minus I sub the 1 into the x here which is hyperbolic 3 multiply 1 I get 3 divided by 3 okay over here, you can straight away type this one into the calculator. It's not too hard. So you just go to the option, choose hyperbolic function, and look for hyperbolic sign, which is number one, and type the nine, and then put the over. You can type exactly the same fraction which are working. This is the good thing about this calculator. Then over here, I will do the same thing again. Hyperbolic function, choose the sign, and then I want to go for three, close the bracket, put the fraction, three. And then I should get this. Same answer as well. 1347.17. Okay, what if I want to substitute the formula into here? Into this step, what if I want to substitute the formula here? See what happened. We already know the hyperbolic sine x is equal to e x minus e negative x over 2, isn't it? So if I want to substitute this formula into here, Okay, this is what I will get. I will get the e. My x right now is 9, isn't it? Do, do you see my x right now is 9? So e9 minus e negative 9 divided by 2. And then the whole thing over 3 again. Minus the same thing, but right now my x for this one will become 3. So I will get e3 minus e negative 3 over 2 divided by 3. Okay, the good thing about this calculator is you can easily solve this kind of 3 level of fraction, but I will teach you how to do. Normally, when I do this kind of 3 level fraction, right, what I will do is I will tap the fraction button first, and then I tap fraction again. Can you see? There's a 3 level. And then the top there, I will just do uh, exponent is shift ln here, and then put 9, and then minus shift ln here which is exponent negative 9 over 2 okay then divided by 3 
Okay, the calculator can straight away recognize the top is the fraction, so you no need to put the bracket for it. If you want to, you can go ahead and do it. You will definitely get the same result. So I will do the same thing here. I type the fraction button two times. One, two. All right, then I will insert the same thing again. So e, uh, shift long here, so you get exponent three minus the exponent. Um, yeah, make sure the minus you need to put it next, then when you put exponent negative three over two, and then the whole thing divided by three. And you type enter, you will still get the same result, 1347.17. So you can see all over here, we are getting all the same result, isn't it? 1347, 1347. And then just now, I straight away type everything into the calculator, I will also get 1347. So this calculator is very useful for this kind of hyperbolic function. So if you want to do integration, you can see, you can straight away get the answer just like maybe five seconds, you will get the answer. But here, I also want you to know how to do this kind of question manually by understand if you integrate hyperbolic cos, you will get hyperbolic sine, or even you want to change the hyperbolic sine into the exponent form, you can still get the same result. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and learn something from this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. If you are interested to get this 570EX calculator, I would strongly recommend you to go to their Shopee official store or Lazada flagship store to get the calculator. Based on two reasons. First is you will always get the free gift from them. Second is we can always assure the calculator we get is the original one. Right, so here I will provide you a little guide on how to shop at their store. You can see I have the Shopee and Lazada. Okay, so if you go to the Shopee store here, what you need to do is you just go to search here. You can search Casio official store or you just type the Casio here. You should be able to see the Casio official store here, which they have about 224,000 followers for right now. So you click on it. So after you click already, here actually say something like search in the shop. You can just type a calculator or scientific calculator, then you are fine. Yeah, I actually searched the scientific calculator before. You just type on it. Right, then you should be able to see the calculator. So right now, 570EX, they're actually selling for 75 ringgit and then they will give you a different free gift uh, based on different time. But if you ask my recommendation, I always ask my student to go to buy the 991. It's basically, it's the same model with this one, but 991EX actually add a solar here so that I no need to worry about the battery issue. But this one, is you can see, it's actually like 34 ringgit more expensive. Uh, just depend on your budget. If you have the budget, always go for the solar one. If not, I think 570EX is good enough. And then you can also choose to go for Lazada, see which platform actually offer you the better price. So if you go to the Lazada, what you need to do is search over here. You can just search Casio flagship store or you just type Casio is fine. I believe you should be able to search them. Casio flagship store over here. So right now it's about 123,000 followers. Okay, so from here, you can see here, we have a button called search in store. So over here, you can just type a calculator then you will show the same thing also. So you can see for the solar one, the price is the same. So yeah, 109. And but for the 570EX in the Lazada right now, it's slightly more expensive, but this one is not always the case. So whenever you want to shop, right, I always recommend you to compare between uh, Shopee and Lazada because both of the store are owned by the Casual Malaysia here. So you can see at the Shopee right now is 75. They also free a notebook for you. And then for the Lazada, it's about 87. And though they also free you a uh, notebook. And another thing you might need to consider is about the delivery fee, right? So sometimes you have the free delivery voucher, then you can just use to get the cheaper rate. And then I will share both Shopee and Lazada link at my description below. Anyways, I hope you enjoy shopping and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.